Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Hans. On this video, I'm going to talk about the Zeppelin Tan Lip Trigger, which is a new accessory just launched on the market, designed and assembled by Zeppelin. So what these things can do and how easy it work, let's take a look. So please take a look at my phone screen. Basically, we use the shutter release cable to connect with the slider and the camera. And we input the shutter time on the application, which just uh, records from the camera screen. And what is going on is the shutter time on the application cannot be changed since the slider is controlling the camera when you are doing some time lapse creation. You get a fixed exposure time. That will cause a annoying problem uh, that when the lighting of the environment changes rapidly, the photograph you will get uh, will be too dark or too bright. Generally speaking, you cannot get accurate exposure. So that is what the tan lips trigger for. Now, if you attach the tan lips trigger on the camera, you have the ability to control your slider just with the camera via a tan lips trigger. I gotta show you two videos, one of them using the tan lips trigger and another one without using it. So as you can see in previous videos, we get the absolutely different uh, result from the camera with tan lips trigger and without tan lips trigger. The tan lips trigger is easy to use. You just long hold the power button to power it on and long hold again to switch it off. The green line means the battery is healthy and it can work 40 hours once you charge it to four. On the side of it, you get two ports one of it is Type-C port, so you can use a Type-C cable to charge it. And another one is 2.5mm uh, 2 shutter release port, allows you to connect the camera with the wire, with the shutter release cable. But in this case, you cannot control the camera with the slider, but you use the slider to control the camera, just like the traditional time lapse modes. In this way, we just uh, prevent you mess the shutter release cable up uh, when the slider is moving. On the other side of the time lapse trigger, we have a screw. So uh, when you attach the time lapse trigger on the camera, uh, you don't want it to drop on the ground right, so you, you need to screw it tightly. And on the side with the uh, Zeppelin logo, we have a, a cold shoes for you, and you can attach some LED light and uh, other little accessories on that. So what you want to do is to switch on your camera and go to settings. Check up the first uh, settings is the shooting. So the on the shootings option, we can check out the flash mode. Please be sure the flash mode is on real mode and back to the settings jump to application check out your application list there is interval shooting option tap it and go to interval shooting you can check out the interval time here set up the interval time and the uh, shoot number so you can uh, check out the photos number uh, on this mode and a uh, please be sure uh, select the high option then you can tap the, the confirm button here after we do that we can attach the time lapse trigger on the camera so which is very easy to attach and screw it in now your camera is ready so I have attached the time lapse trigger on the camera and also attached the camera on the quick release plate uh, on the two arm kit. So what I'm going to do now is to uh, connect with the time lapse trigger on Zeppelin Lab. And after I've done that, 
you can see the rear slider, the Micro 2 Plus motorized module, and the, the pong pen and tilt head uh, also connect with my smartphone. So I tap down button and I go to the operating interface. On this page, I can operate some uh, uh, joystick and control my slider and pen and tilt head movement. So first thing, I'm gonna set up a waypoint. So I would like to set up the first waypoint on here. Let me adjust the pan and tilt head direction. So I would like to set up a waypoint and go on to move my slider to another side and set up a B-way point. Make the tilt head uh, tilt up. I just assume uh, the, the direction is like that. And bank to A-way point. I will activate my camera. So now the camera is in the interval shooting mode. First, I want to uh, quit this mode. So I quit the mode, go to the normal shooting mode. There is a new uh, feature on this main page. You can see there is a red button. So if I tap it, the camera will start to record. Let me show you. So you hear D and the camera and the slider and the pong uh, pane is moving. And after uh, after the process, after you uh, the slider move from the A to B waypoint it will just stop automatically. So this is a new feature, uh, only support uh, with the Sony camera now because the Sony camera has the uh, IR and uh, the time lapse trigger also have, have a IR so they can transfer the information. Uh, the time lapse trigger can give the uh, signal to Sony camera and command it to uh, record. So let's take a look at the camera mode. Uh, in camera mode, we need to uh, make sure the camera, the Sony camera on the interval shooting and other camera like the Panasonic or uh, Nikon or Canon, uh, they also have the function like the interval shooting or uh, something like that the name probably not the same but the function is the same so you you need to find out the, those camera system and check out this function uh, i will give you the list when you uh, see the video in the end so we tap the application list and tap it again tap the end of the shooting and here we go, we jump into the interval shooting. On the other side, uh, we have to set up the photos in our camera. So we would like to set the photos as same as the camera setup, 600. And FPS, we will keep it as uh, 24 FPS. And it will give you a play time finally. So that means you will get uh, you will get a uh, twenty five seconds uh, time lapse video in the end. So if I tap the uh, shoot button on my application, and it will ask me to uh, press the shutter shutter button and start to uh, capture the video capture the footage 
so I just tap the shutter button on the Sony camera all right here we go and the uh, uh, the footage the photograph on the application is counting down Now the shutter time is 150 on the Sony camera. What if I turn off the light and make the environment light become darker than now? So let's take a look. Apparently now the camera takes a longer time than before to get a, a accurate exposure and the uh, slider also move uh, also pads longer than before. If I just turn on all the light, what will happen? So the shot time is bang to the 150 and the slider move uh, as usual. So you may notice that whenever the uh, camera complete the exposure and the, the slider move for a step, that means uh, when the slider uh, is moving, the camera has already complete accurate exposure. That will make sure you get the most clear and most uh, great footage, most great photograph from the camera. All right, guys, this is the whole content about the uh, time lapse trigger. I talk about some concept of it and the uh, basic operation about it if you have more interest about it you can check out uh, the zeppelin website and find out the time lapse trigger we have some specification about it thanks for watching if you like this video please share with your friend and give me a like goodbye